I did say in the Discord, I had a little something prepared, which first off, I guarantee folks are gonna like what we have in store here. Uh, I do not believe Wes knows what this is. I did say it to Pridge yeah. what it was, but I don't think even Pridge gonna... understands the, the grandeur of this moment. <laughs> are they gonna like the way we look? Do you guarantee it? Yes, but two seconds, I need to fix something. It's better knowing what it is, <laughs> Because when he says fix something, <laughs> I somewhat know what he means. Is Zach going to cosplay as the hype train? And That would be impressive, actually. He just, okay, folks. Yeah. Are you ready? He just comes in like a fucking terrifying Thomas ready? the Tank Engine outfit. Get fucking ready. Because here it is. <laughs> no, he moved again? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. I knew it. Fantastic. Agnes is looking great today. <laughs> Just Zach in the background, like, Agnes, what the fuck? I made a whole. St- I made a whole. Quick Agnes! <laughs> you stay right there and be a good boy. Oh. Oh. Now, Magnus, you stay right there. Oh, no, Magnus. Folks, I, I know exactly what I need to do. Sleep. Let me let me try cutting to the new Magnus cam setup just to make sure it works. Hey, it's blurry as shit because the webcam on my laptop is so bad. But <laughs> <laughs> also, I hate that he would look like he was looking directly at the webcam when it cut to him. I know. He yeah, knew. Dogs are fucking horrible. Like, what do you do? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hi. And our actual lawyer, Prince. Yay. <laughs> uh, folks, if you like Yay. this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash Save Data Team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if not, no worries. It goes up as an edited VOD the very following Monday and Tuesday, edited by yours truly. And hey, if you'd like to support us and throw us a couple bucks, you can head over to patreon.com slash save data team, just like Bandicoot Commando 95, Kadabe, Fafilla, Sibilla, Halucha, Rick Rat, Ace 73, Jad Wap, Shadow Navi, Dessert Boy Man, Mystic Woody, Burger Bun, HSM, Nicole, Les, Antiluster, Traveling in a Box, Soapy, and Archaeopterigidae. Arche- Archaeopterigidae. Archaeopterigidae. Yep. Rigidae. Got it in the first try. Who I should add sent me a correct way to pronounce their name, and they're in the chat right now. <laughs> Listen, I know you gave me the out. You said I could just say Archie, but I wanted to be a hero. At least <laughs> once, don't, you know? Don't be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get back to the video game to finally let's finish... Go this case finish the game we're gonna finish the rest of this game tonight just like master chief we're gonna finish the fight fight. my sis i could have sworn i heard mia's voice so then she's still alive so then she's still alive inside your heart Nikki boy! Oh, Miss Delight. Is it true that detective that is it true that detective is the real just say his fucking name, Jesus. Also, has she been in the courtroom? Does she now realize that her husband's a thief? Yeah, I feel like that she has bigger concerns right now, <laughs> but sure. Well no, I mean I, I argue I... her biggest concern is her husband not being proved to kill her, that's but true, that's imagine true. that it's probably pretty upsetting to learn it, that uh yeah. he is in fact husband, a thief. My husband's a thief? I am so turned on right now. <laughs> Can we wrap this up real fast? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we don't have any definite proof. But he's the only one who could have done it. But wasn't he at Lordly Taylor that night? I 
to mention, we don't exactly know his motive. I mean, why would Detective Antony want to kill King Bullard? Uh? Oops! It's almost time. Better get back into the courtroom. <laughs> I need to find some solid proof. And it's gotta happen sooner than later. None of that liquid proof. <laughs> and don't even get me started with gas proof. Oh, uh, no, I don't need that gas proof. <laughs> but plasma proof? That's pretty cool. How about I, that? I agree. Back that. in my day, we didn't have plasma proof. Uh, kids these days. Kids these days inventing <laughs> new forms of matter. <laughs> they, got, they got plasma and new math. God. Fucking common core. Get that shit out of here. Critical race theory. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> God. We controversy now, boys. Uh, we controversial. Good, good Prince. Keep going. That's how we get the views. That's how we get the views. Yeah, yeah you two commenters get back. Engage with our video because I said CRT. Oh, no, Chris. Or Prince, all you have to do is just say Twin Rovo when you met Twin Mold or vice versa. Then you can get a billion fucking comments on it. <clears throat> what? Now then, this court is back in session. Mr. Luke at me, please take the stand. Will the real Luke at me please stand up? <laughs> well, well, how do you do, sir lawyer? I never would have thought to see you acting so recklessly. And you don't know the first thing about me. <laughs> I couldn't let them hand down your verdict just yet. Not when it would have given not when it would have given you a perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Mask to Mask. I'm sorry. I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Of course, I have been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could know what's been going on in here. You've been in the defendant's seat all day long, correct? Being tried as mask to mask. Once again, you're probably being tried as Luke at me. Yeah. His crime would be stealing <laughs> under yeah. the guise of mask to mask, but I'm pretty sure they would still try him under his name. Yeah, yeah, damn, what if they kept, what if they handed down the guilty verdict and he was like, screw you suckers, my name isn't actually Master Mask. <laughs> you just tried the wrong guy. Like, my oh, legal name isn't that at it. all. That uh, well, I guess we gotta let Master you go. Mask to go to jail is useless <laughs> because my name's Luke, you fucking room. Stop, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> now I'm free forever. <laughs> <laughs> Just a deputy bitch. I killed Kane Buller. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, tasteless toothpaste in the chat it says, "Father, when I when can I leave to be on my own?" Looking ass, which yeah is a great reference to the the shitty oh, Pinocchio the movie. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? It's so good. Not the whole world is deep. If you haven't seen oh, the yeah. goddamn oh, that, clips oh, from that movie. Oh, that yeah. just sounds. Oh, you know the wild thing? That's fucking. It's Polly Shore. Shore. Yeah. Fucking Polly fucking, Shore. Yeah, it's fucking uh, Bobby from the Goofy movies. Yeah. <laughs> who is an incredible voice actor? Yeah, I don't understand. So it's what's really up with funny. That. It's really funny oh. to hear him be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and Pedo is fucking Tom Kenny. Oh shit! I didn't know that. <laughs> Tom Kenny is Geppetto. They have like a fucking all-star cast for that movie, and the voice acting dog shit because the script is so bad. It also looks like a very foreign film. It's Russian. They it was made not... in Russia, and they had okay. to dub it later. Like, they did not. They did not. The voice flaps like, do not line up at lip all. Lip chat. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, this clearly because they didn't <laughs> care. At they all pay everyone like. It. 12 cents for like their performance too. Uh, Val, Val Doodles cheered to it saying, can we get a skiddy 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 like he says in the oh, movie. Yeah, they, Let's go Tibbot! Great adventures await! Skiddy 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 Hi daddy! Adventure oh, no, awaits the... Tibbot! <laughs> Whatever it is that he says. Let's go Tibbot! Great adventures await! Yeah, that's so good! <laughs> 
Gotcha. <laughs> bye, Daddy. Bye, bye. Oh. <laughs> God, it's so fucking. There's the fucking. Uh... Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. I knew you wouldn't say no. The choice to make him say daddy, daddy in 2022 is yeah. fucking wild. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, like uh, nobody, nobody stopped them from putting that in the movie. Like, come, like, papa, please, just anything but daddy. Anything but daddy. Oh, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, enough of this. Uh, indeed, it's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Just like I did when yeah, I told him that I was Master Mask and that I didn't kill Kane Bullard. Oh, 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 Why oh, would like you I say that? I, just like I did when I created QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was me. I'm, I'm Q. Q. <laughs> I am Q and Master Mask. <laughs> Why do you think there is the letter Q in Mask? There's not normally one. Oh, I'm also yeah. the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> yes. It actually Ooh, wasn't man. Ted Cruz. <laughs> actually, I'm also Ted Cruz. Excuse me, I have to go to Cancun. <laughs> well, Texas freezes. <laughs> well, my entire state gets fucked over. I have to fucking leave. Uh, God damn. Uh, why do y'all watch us? <laughs> That's, fucking, that's gold, though. No that's one else brilliant. will tell you the truth. <laughs> Colonel Winston says, I'm also the second shooter on the gla grassy knoll. <laughs> yeah, but who's busy? <laughs> At this point, I guess I, I kind of respect the hustle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Q uh, has got that Sigma grind set. <laughs> oh. Confirmed Q is a, is a Sigma. <laughs> Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring that sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. And if I can ask for that back, bro. So, yeah, how do you still have yeah, that, actually? I you... <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't proven guilty yet. Uh, I guess that's, that's true. true. But it might that's also be evidence. Yeah, I feel like it. it would be evidence. <laughs> it might very well be evidence. <laughs> so you continue to insist that you are, in fact, mask to mask. Of course. Very well then, look at me. Let us begin with this simple question. What is 9,968 divided by 2,162? <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh. On October 12th at 1 a.m., Kane Bullard was murdered. Where were you at that time? One without knowledge lacks even the knowledge that he should be ashamed of himself. Oh my god, Godot's spreading. <laughs> I now know. everyone's saying <laughs> shit that makes no sense. But don't worry, I will not hold it against you, Sir John. Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, too. <laughs> All right, Mr. Atme, the night of the murder. Speak. Gulp. We're listening. As you wish, Sir Prosecutor. I was stealing the urn as mask to mask, just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photograph contains no, contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. The time at which the camera captured mask to mask was the same time as the murder. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, Zack. <laughs> it seems the main point of discussion will be this photo of the crime scene. So in case you're curious what's important, it's the photo of this crime scene. <laughs> if anyone's playing this game, pay special attention to the photo of the crime scene. It seems this crime scene photo is going to be important. 
Now, begin your cross-examination while I dangle this crime scene photo <laughs> over this pit of fire. <laughs> Everything else up until now was all part of his plan. There has to be a secret to this picture as well. Even the great Masked Damask cannot be in two places at once. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. Unfortunately, Mr. Atme, we still have to do your cross-examination. What? Oh no! What? <laughs> oh what? no, he's got the he's got the he is. And the Francisca. Oh. I was also oh, Francisca shit. von Karma the whole time. <laughs> the fool is too foolish to know that he is a fool. <laughs> What is like? I hate that we made a bit of him being a bunch of different people, and now he's just doing other people's bits. <laughs> I think he's trying to say that you're full of it, Nick. The only thing that he's, <laughs> the only thing that's full of it is his is his alibi. The only thing I'm full of is Dookie. I really gotta go. <laughs> no, Maya, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm gonna go use the the law office bathroom really quick. Oh, thank God. Uh, still in the urn, just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. The photograph contains no words. In this case, one turned out to be my witness. Let me, actually, we should look at this picture again. So, I mean, the main thing is the statue is not there. Which the statue is not there. It originally was, right? Or we don't know that, but when we showed up the next day, it was there because it was covering the paint. Yes. Yes. Okay. Which would imply that the statue was not there mm -hmm. when the paint was spilled. Correct. Right. It couldn't have. Well. Yeah. Also. <laughs> I don't know how this is relevant, but if he was the only one there, then how did the sword get bent? Because he right. claims yeah. that somebody hit him with the sword, but now if he was the only one that was there, yeah. nobody hit him with the sword. Mm -hmm. So that's another mystery. Mm -hmm. That 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 could be me getting ahead of it. Uh, we might just have to start pressing some things for a little bit. Oh, We're yeah, into territory where even I forget what the answer is. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I mean, I know we haven't talked to the brooch in a while, but he doesn't have the brooch. That's good. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have Benefer. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Benefer. So, I mean, that could still, that could become relevant again. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's good. start pressing from here and see where it goes. So, by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here? Is that correct? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Indeed it is. That is it. <laughs> the very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. What did I turn into? William. <laughs> Shatner. <laughs> there. <laughs> For a second. Maya, do you <laughs> smell... Burnt toast? <laughs> Can't stop speaking. Or is that like this? Just justice? <laughs> when you think about it, it's really odd. You say that almost as if you had this picture taken on purpose. He was simply caught by the very camera that he had set up. Yeah, this makes sense. We all have days like that. No, no, that, that's a really good point, actually. If you set up that camera, he wouldn't have been dumb enough to let it catch him. Yeah. It almost seems like he wanted to get caught. <laughs> mm -hmm. It turned out that there was no such thing as the perfect crime after all. Shut up, Annie. Life is truly an ironic thing. A sad blue melody. Ugh, looks like I'd better, better gather more information for now. If he's truly the killer, there's got to be something phony in that photo. Big fat phony. <laughs> uh, and that—I mean, there's nothing I can really say about this because that's just the truth. Um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, just we can suppress it. Yeah. <clears throat> A 
about the camera that took this photograph. Oh, come now! It's all too clear what you're thinking. Huh? You think I altered the timestamp on the photograph, don't you? I'm afraid that's impossible. Well, I didn't claim Ken that, so... <laughs> camera was set up by Lordly, De Lordly Taylor. On top of that, it was Lordly Taylor's staff that printed that picture's data. Fortunately for the defense, there's no way that picture could have been altered. I see. It looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. So, this alibi is false. It has to be. We couldn't have killed Mr. Bullard at KB Security. I'm not really spotting anything unusual. There are two possibilities. Either the mask to mask in the photo is a fake, or the photo itself is. Okay, well, we basically just revealed the photo isn't a fake, so. so just as you know, see what. There's more than enough. I don't know, maybe press this. <sighs> I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at one point. That's right. That was over 20 days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean you sent out the card after you began your security watch, right? Indeed. There was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my latest target. I see. You truly are evil, <laughs> aren't you? Yes, evil is what I am. What? Hey, Nick, isn't there something odd about this? Hey, Nick, is this guy evil? Hmm? Evil! Evil, <laughs> evil, evil! Detective Atme was always proud of his ace detective skills, right? But if the urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor while he was the only one watching it, have no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. You know, that's true. It is kind of odd. Uh, I mean, I don't know how that helps us. Um. I feel like there's something we have to present here. So we already pressed all the statements? Uh, we didn't press we didn't the very press first, the first one. one. So, this photograph is the proof, correct? Indeed it is. I wish I had just said this photograph is proof, because that's a really, really good song. <laughs> you know, Photograph by Nickelback is also a good song. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> And the man in the photo is clearly wearing a mask. The mask. And that is why I am called Mask de Mask. Oh, that's why. Okay. But conveniently, <laughs> that means that there is also no way to tell who this really is. What do you mean? <laughs> Are you saying that this is not, in fact, Luke Atney? <clears throat> that it could be an accomplice dressed up as Mask de Mask to create an alibi? Oh, what an interesting idea. Are you saying that I, Lone Wolf Luke, had an accomplice? What? Oh. I no, mean, he does. No. No. That'd be a spicy, spicy <sighs> twist. If Luke at me was at KB Security during the murder. Oh, we should have accused Larry of being the accomplice. That would have been really that funny. Been then the mask to mask. Loser, <laughs> then this, then the, then the mask to mask in this picture has to be a fake. And there really was an accomplice. But right now, I have no idea who it was. Uh, I don't have any idea right now either. Baseless objections are just what that guy wants. There's got to be another way, and I'm going to find it. Uh, again, the photograph contains no words. In this case, wonder not to be my witness. 
<sighs> I mean, again. Uh, wait, go, what's the next statement say? Uh, I think it was just about the time. It was the camera capture master mask. So, yeah, so the time that the picture was taken. It was around 1 a.m. According to the actual <laughs> picture, it did say, uh, like, 12.58, I think. Yeah, 0.58. Yeah. Uh, and the murder happened at 1. Uh, dang. Pharrell? What? Well, I don't know if that's the answer. Sibylla in the chat said the photo had... The photo has a time, but not a date. That would be very a annoying. A very spicy twist. Now, I mean, that'd be an incredibly spicy twist. You like that? You like that twist? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, like it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I think that that could be something. Uh, but right now, we don't have anything that he's not saying anything that contradicts that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Presented. I mean, other, other than other than this, you yeah. can try presenting the photo. Present it. No, that wasn't it. Ah, it wasn't it. <laughs> the witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Have to what? Ugh, I must be on the wrong track. Hmm. And we've pressed every statement. All three or yeah. four of them? Oh, and we, we've, we've pressed all four. I'm just hmm. going to check. This isn't one of those stupid things we have to... It is. It's oh, the one where you have it. to press another statement again. God I fucking told you! Damn it. <laughs> uh, press statement three again. Okay. So, by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here, correct? Indeed it is. That is it. The very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. Again, I can't skip it, so something different is about to happen. Surely you even understand by now. Lordly Taylor provided that camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. That means I could not have killed Kane Bullard unless I had an accomplice. Come on, think long and hard about that night. Long and hard. Night. The basement warehouse and this picture that supposedly captures it, it's gotta be here. Isn't there something funny about this picture? You bet there is. I mean, there has to be. <laughs> or else we wouldn't be getting this option. <laughs> you bet your bottom there is. Are you implying that this picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a look around the basement warehouse that night before the theft took place. And there's something in, in this photo that doesn't match my memory of that night. So is this going to be the paint stain of the statue? Yeah, it has to be. Very well. Then let's hear what you have to say. What about this photograph do you find funny? I mean, this... I better laugh, this, Mr. Wright. This fucking cravat-looking-ass thing. I mean, it's pretty stupid, you know? <laughs> I got nothing. All right, I'm waiting for a joke, <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> Make I just, me laugh. Well, I just flew in, and boy, are my arms tired. Come on, Maya. Penalty! No! <laughs> a triple penalty! I'll let you try another joke, Mr. Wright, but this time you lose the case if I don't laugh. Your Honor, have you ever seen anything more pathetic in the world than this <laughs> shitty box? Than Larry Butts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, pick if you up put here. Put Larry's right? face on that box, then that's a it's a pathetic paradox. <laughs> Much pathetic, it's a pathetic black hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. The funny part is right here. Why this? This isn't funny at all. <laughs> yeah, this I, this is a blood stain. Blood is hilarious. The <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, blood. I love blood. What? <laughs> all right, let's continue. 
Now this now this case is getting interesting. Why is he so excited about this? Um, not exactly. This stain is actually pink paint. No, it's Danganronpa blood, Phoenix. Yeah, it's the blood of a Danganronpa character. Mm-hmm. Oh, just paint. And peach color did that. That's not peach color. What, what, color, what color do you think a peach is, Judge? From blood to peaches. The Judge just sure loves getting on his wild talking tangents. About, talking about the, the princess. Oh, I thought you were going to make reference to the uh, President's of the United States song. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Look out! Great song. <laughs> yeah. The problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem is, when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse, it turns out that something should be should be there. It turns out that something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. It's love, Your Honor. <laughs> Where's the love? <laughs> Where is the love? Oh, this is also an uh. <laughs> uh? Is the black eyed peas ass? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, what is supposed to be in this picture instead of the paint stains? That's the statue. Yeah. The supervisor of the treasure exhibit stated the following. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I myself was there the night that the theft took place and saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on that night, then that statue should have been there. But when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Don't say old bag. <laughs> she's oh, no. old. she's like she's, old bag. she's like Beetlejuice. If you say her name three times, she appears. That's the that's the twist. Is old bag is actually Ami Fay reincarnated? <laughs> that is that is pretty terrifying. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps it was somehow pushed there accidentally. Your Honor, this statue is Shut slightly up. larger than yourself and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push. Are you calling push. me fat? Well, I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> to move in that distance. In that case, can you prove it? Can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why that statue was moved that night? Can you do it, Nick? Never mind who moved it. The real question is, why did they move it? Well, Mr. Wright, I hope you are prepared with your answer. Now then, who was the one that moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? I mean, there's huh. only one person that could have been. I mean, it'd have to be Luke, right? Unless they, unless they, they, unless they want us to I say mean, Mask they want to answer Mask to Mask. Yeah. No, I don't think they're going to be that stupid. I think they would actually. Yeah. I I would say, and this one does isn't a penalty, so I would say you can do Luke. I'm gonna do a, a quick this, save state just because I don't want to have to go through a bunch of dialogue to get back to this point if we have to. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The one who moved the statue is none other than Luke at me. Come now, sir lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. There you go again. There you go again. Ronald Reagan. Ah. It, well, well, Mr. Wright, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? That's a pretty good that's a pretty good Reagan. I mean fuck that you guy. You just gotta go but... you just gotta go well before you just gotta go well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. As long as you go, well, then you're doing Reagan. <laughs> then you've got Mr. it. Right. Reagan. What, what basis do you have for your strange delusions? <laughs> it's very simple. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. That is indeed very simple. <laughs> However, I wasn't there. I was killing Shane Blue Balls. 
Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it. Me again. <laughs> <Your necks>. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? The reason for moving the golden statue. Here's where our battle really begins. You were trying to show off to Benefer how strong you are. <laughs> Check this out, baby. <laughs> I can move this big ass statue. <laughs> 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 well, now I, just dislocated, now, I, now I just dislocated my shoulder <laughs> and pulled my back muscle. Benefer, be That's a dear pretty con sexy ambulance. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was unconscious at the scene of the crime. <laughs> Also, if you're wondering, and? yes, tried with the statue, I did shit it and fart it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill? Mr. Wright? <laughs> what reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here, in this photograph. Almost, almost. <laughs> oh, we got another, we got another. Uh -huh. Thank you. No, that's like a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at me. You pretended to be mask to mask, to create an alibi by where you were, to create an alibi by showing you were at Lordly Taylor that night. Uh, Another one, yeah. But this photograph, but this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. The statue had been there. This gun in the photograph. <laughs> Your lie would be exposed like a cheap film at a drugstore. Wow. What? Back when people used to go get camp, camp film but developed. I guess that's a, I, I guess, oh, okay, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, again, okay, okay, another joke exposed. that okay. severely dates this game as being way earlier than it's actually set in because nobody's fucking yeah. getting film developed in 2018. I don't know why they chose to make this in the future. Like nothing futuristic fucking happened. It's 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 just because of the uh, they wanted the, the DL six incident to be set in current times, but also oh. it didn't have to be. It could have been set fifteen years earlier. Like yeah, yeah. That is why you moved the statue. A single fatal flaw. Interesting theory. Please enlighten us. Just Sh where in this picture does this lie exist? Well, now I'm kind of confused. Uh, oh, yeah. wait. Oh, damn, we can't look at our oh. evidence right now. Is is it because the oh, box doesn't have the stain? On, there will be paint on the box? Or is that, I guess this spot right here is where the box is cut out? Uh, it could also be the timestamp. What's up with the timestamp? That would. Uh... Oh, because is, about... is it the different day thing? Yeah, they could be trying to lead us to that. Uh... Oh yeah, because if it it could be that it wasn't moved at all it just wasn't there because it wasn't it was on a different day so the statue wasn't yet there mm -hmm. so we want to go with uh, the time then you can try it and i'll do this again just because that's that's enough of a penalty i don't want to i don't this. i don't really see anything else that it could be yeah yeah, and, and, like the and even if yeah. and even if the box isn't wet right now, it doesn't make sense for the paint to suddenly become wet again to drop the box in it and then get it wet. Yeah. So. Also, his arms could just be blocking the part of the box. Yeah, it's very is. easy for that to, to be argued away, too. All right, we'll try this. Naturally, the lie in this photo is the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Yo, tell me what you mean, what you really, really mean. Oh, I'll tell you what I mean, what I really, really mean. Bro, oh, tell me what you mean, what you really, really mean. I, I wanna, wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I, wanna. <laughs> what I really, really want is for you to say objection. <laughs> zinga, zinga, ah. Yo, real talk, I did not know that they said zinga, zing ah until like two years ago. 
I thought for the longest time, instead of a nonsense word, zing a zing ah, I thought it was, I really, really, really want to make you say ah, which actually oh. makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you might you might have wrote a better song than they did, but. What are you talking about zing a zing ah? Everybody knows about zing a zing ah. <laughs> So all I'm trying to say is I, I'm a more prolific songwriter than the Spice Girls. Yeah, uh, okay. Tell them. <laughs> Tell them. Get them. <laughs> Call him the Sugar Boy, and he's taken on the Spice Girls. Oh, that's good. I like that. Uh, <laughs> on the night in question, Luke Atme went to KB Security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lordly Taylor at this time. Uh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but what does that have to do with the statue being moved? Remember, if you will, Your Honor. When when was this when, when was this statue placed besides the warehouse door? Remember, Your Honor. The well, <laughs> well. The statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. And it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Exactly. Luke Atme had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took, his, he took this picture days before the murder took place. What the? Of course. The statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Ah. So, on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as a long-tailed cat on a rocking chair factory, so to speak. Real yeah, talk? That is a saying. That that one's pretty good. I like that one. I'll give him that yeah. one. As a long yeah. tail as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory. That's a yeah. good one. That's yeah, a good I've one. I've heard that one. You know, no, I've heard I'll that one. That, that one's kind of good. Yeah. So yeah. That's a classic. I'll, I'll I've heard that, that one. one. <laughs> as nervous as China in a bull shop. <laughs> Why? Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down and placed where it wasn't supposed to be. And that is why Luke Atme had to move the statue on the night of the murder. He did it to make the room he did it to make the room match with the way it had been in his photo. Huh? <laughs> order, order! Uh, Mr. Atme, is this true? Oh yes, like I'm gonna say it's true. No, it fuck what the fuck do you think <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna what? Say? <laughs> fuck what I admit that? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you, you idiot? <laughs> I'm not trying One to go to fucking jail. <laughs> One moment, Sharon. Have you forgotten this? What's that? The data for the basement warehouse computer. It's a scan form this. for an online personality quiz I took. <laughs> it says not a murderer. <laughs> it says... It says... That's if, funny. If I was going to be a Friends character, I would totally be a Joey. Joey? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so kooky and fun. <laughs> but I That's also have that Ross, sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Attorney here, however, would totally be a Ross. Ew, you're a Ross. You fucking bastard, right? I'll kill you! <laughs> I'm going to declare him not guilty because you're a fucking raw Mr. I'm, right. Look at me. I'm about to pivot you into hell. <laughs> <laughs> God uh, damn that's it. Funny. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. Hmm. I'm it's... not a Ross. <laughs> <laughs> at least let me be a Chandler. It's true that the camera had been set up by the Lordly Taylor staff. And even take Phoebe. How? <laughs> Smelly Cat? That's a classic. It's a banger. <laughs> I basically have a Smelly Cat. Maya. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> However, the program... Just I go dookie all the time, doesn't <laughs> even call me Smelly. 
However, the program used to manage that data was yours. <laughs> My spicy DS acted up a little bit there. <laughs> Drop the beat. Just a little bit, a little bit too much spice on. Yeah, I might have to re-season it. Uh, <laughs> that alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Save data. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Order! Order! Mr. Godot, what is the meaning of this? Fucking fine, you wanna, Your Honor. You want to talk about meaning, Your Honor? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Godot, I warned you about making me wait. Now put that coffee down, what? or so help me! What? Put that coffee back down, or so, so help me! <laughs> My 11th cup. I promise to drink no more than seven. <laughs> <laughs> I promised. I promised my bowels to drink no more than seventeen during a trial, which means I'm still good to the last drop. What? Also, wait, however, I got a question. Uh huh. He said this was his first trial, right? Yeah. Yeah. But he also says yeah. he drinks no more than seventeen cups of trial. Yeah. But this is his first one, so he'd have no. He's making up much. the. Yeah, he's making up the he's making up the rules as he it's, goes along. It's, it's just like a, us making up our own deep lore. Like it's it's the same thing, you know. <laughs> That's fine. So I'll make sure we're all on the same page. Man. And by that, yeah. and by that, I mean all of our deep lore is canon. I really did steal Pete's left eye. Uh, oh, obviously, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no denying that. The forgotten member of Save Data Team, Pete. <laughs> Look, we're all better off if Pete's gone. I mean, I hated that guy. That's why, that's why you stole killed him and stole his that's, eye. That's why I killed him, exactly. <laughs> You're not going to kill him and steal someone's eye if you like them. Well, that's just rude. That's true. I mean, he also did. I did get his bloodline technique, which is pretty useful. It's a good bloodline technique. <laughs> good point. So what? What? We are all but travelers on a road of infinite points. Um... I think you've got your points mixed up with your other points. Also, what does this line even mean? Like, <laughs> why does no one make any sense in this game? Phoenix what is like, happened to me? What happened I, to all you people? Am I in a coma right now? Did I get hit no, by another Godot's, villain in the in the waiting room? Do has the orb of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say this photograph was taken ahead of time. And that the statue was moved in order to make it match. That's a very interesting idea. However, there's one point that can't be denied. Which is? I'm so fucking cool. <laughs> Carry on, your honor. Carry That's on. That's the point no you were trying son. to make? Son. Thank you, Bridge. <laughs> That it's only a possibility. And that are trapped by the chains of maybe. Can never reach their dreams. That's very true. At least I think it is. No way! Don't fall for that, Your Honor. So, to, so just to clarify what happened here. We made a very convincing argument. Which we don't have definite proof. But it, it's, you know, it's damning. And Godot just said, well, maybe. <laughs> but maybe yeah. that and he didn't And happen. he slammed his coffee cup and said one emotional phrase, and the, the judge said, oh, shit, okay, maybe, you're right. <laughs> but also, his phrase was, if you live in a world of maybes, you'll never reach your dreams. But he said, but maybe. Yeah. Well, no, he's saying what we're saying is a maybe. But what he's saying is a maybe. <laughs> Yeah, but his maybes. His maybe trumps are... our maybe. But I said maybe. His, his maybe. <laughs> maybe, please. Because I just don't know now. His maybe has six pack abs. So. Okay, that's true. Hey, Mr. Damask. Y yes? If there's no funny business in your actions as Mask Damask, there should be no problem. With you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Yes. Uh, please provide this court with your testimony. 
about your plan to steal the sacred urn. All right. Yeah, I first received the request from Lordly Taylor about 20 days ago. The urn was placed in a box, and Zvari, it was then sent to the warehouse. I forgot that was his catchphrase. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my card ten days beforehand. I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. on October 12th. That's pretty much all stuff we've heard before, isn't it? Yeah, but we'll, we will find the truth hidden in the nuggets of new information he gave. In the chicken nuggets yes. of truth. And those little nuggies. You're sure there are no mistakes this time? Uh huh? It's funny. <laughs> that wasn't a yes or no. Uh, very well then. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. The judge literally just said, Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to so help you, God? And he said, Abracadabra. And he said, no. <laughs> 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 he said, zinga, zinga. <laughs> he said, maybe. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, God damn it. Wouldn't you like to know, newsboy? Okay. Um, that, uh, I don't think, has anything to do with anything. Place in the box oh. in Zvari. Sent to the warehouse. There's, there's a... There's a... There's a... I, w I won't tell you what it is, but there is a there is a contradiction, that contradiction. already exists. Okay. When what was the day that it was stolen? Do we have an actual date on that? No. Well, that doesn't say a date. We already talked about that. No. I guess. Okay, October twelfth. Okay, so he's saying that he stole it on the twelfth. Which was when he got murdered. It was the first time he held it in his hands. It was on the 12th. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. on October 12th. Well, we know that's not true. I don't know if we have a way to prove that yet. Uh, <clears throat> we do. We do. Uh huh. I won't tell you what it is. No, no, give no. Give me, give, yeah, give me a moment to think about this. Hmm. This, this is actually... A, I like this contradiction. I think this is a cool... Well, yeah. This is a well-thought-out puzzle, I think. The crime. From the mass second heist on, he was blackmailed. Okay, sacred urn. Replaced in its box, kept out of sight. Hmm. I mean, that would make sense with it being the first time with him not having seen it before then. Look at the Carling card again. I'll be coming to Perlima. Most priceless work of art display the treasure of the Kyrene. Take good care of the speckled urn, wouldn't you? Oh. Him knowing about the speckled urn. Boom. Him knowing the speckled urn means he's seen it Boom. before. Boom. Yep. Would this be when we present? Uh, yeah, it would have to be to object to this, right? Yeah, I held her in my hands for the first time. Because it wasn't... Well, that's held in his hands. I think he hasn't seen it before. Yeah. Well, so he wouldn't have known that it was speckled because she kept it out of sight after she broke it and fixed it. Yeah. So him saying speck... I, I, I have a... Well... This could be a thing where we're a step ahead and I'll be a little annoyed if we are, but... You can save it and present this. Do so close, we've got to an idea. Let's do it. Hey, music stop, baby. Nice. Mr. Nice. At me, if you really are mask to mask, then you also wrote this calling card, correct? But of course. Is there a problem with that calling card? 
Allow me to read a passage from the calling card that Mask to Mask has written. I love that he's holding up a fucking transcript piece of paper of this tiny card. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, take good care of the speckled urn. Now, the speckled, the speckled here surely refers to this pink pattern on the sacred urn. Yes, that is true. But so what? Truth be told, there is no way that Mask to Mask could have known about this pattern. What do you mean? This pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains? And these stains paint did stains. not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordly Taylor. <laughs> I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trite. The day that the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to human error. Or should I say, an error-prone human. Why did you dunk on oh, wow. Adrian for oh, no wow. reason? Wow. I still love that picture, though. He's just, he's just, there is, there is, Phoenix is taking no prisoners in this game. Like, <laughs> no one is safe from his wrath. Also, is Adrian, like, been proven to be like an accident prone human like she was really put together in the first game and this is the only thing she's done in this game that's like whoops yeah granted it's a pretty big yeah. whoops but still it's a pretty big yeah. whoopsie <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though she did fix it better than it ever was minus that's the true. she made it look better <laughs> and that's when the pink paint got on the urn can't be serious. And yet, this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means, Detective Matme had seen this urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when this fake photo was taken. <laughs> and because this photo is a fake, your alibi for the night of the murder is no longer holds water. <laughs> Fitness, you have anything to say for yourself? All right, that did it. He's broken. Now to go in for the kill. I think it's still a little early for a victory pose. Huh? And Phoenix is like, ah, let's fucking go! Let's do it! Freeze frames. Don't you <laughs> forget <laughs> about me. <laughs> uh, Nick, it's still too early for your 80s references. <laughs> <laughs> That's your wrong, Maya. It's never too early for an 80s reference. <laughs> so sad. No one has any conviction these days. What? Conviction, you say? Well, if you just hurry up and convict this son of a bitch, then 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 there'd be a conviction. Got him. Hey. Yesterday, we all decided unanimously that this man was Master Mask. Now, we're calling him a murderer. I don't think we're being a tad fickle. That's a good point. No way! Don't fall for that too, Your Honor! You say that Luke Abney was the one who killed Kane Bullard? Let me ask you this. Why would he do that? <laughs> An excellent point! <laughs> Motive, Mr. Wright! He just loves murder so much! <laughs> Ooh. This is some good alliteration. Might you, my merry murderous motive manifest? Damn, that's really good. That's some good. No, that's some good alliteration. That's Nick, some good motive. He's getting his second wind. If he prepared an alibi and pinned his crime on Ronda Light, as you say, he must have had a very strong motive for murder. The only one with any motive we've seen is Ronda Light. Isn't that right, Detective? Indeed. According to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. 
Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove guilt in a murder case. Now, Is now, that true, that doesn't seem true. now, <laughs> how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old lesson, man? Old man. <laughs> That's not yes. the case for half of the cases in these games. Remember when good. I was accused of killing fucking my own boss? Yeah, just fucking dog shit. No one had a motive for that one. <sighs> Everybody coming out with it. I love the young people. <laughs> it's so good. Now then, maybe you can enlighten us to what the defendant's motives were. Thank you, Sir Old Timer. Why would you say that? Fuck, you just call me. <laughs> They're doing everything they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this may be our only chance. I'll show you some hard information. <laughs> the information is my dick. <laughs> Ew, gross, Zach. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, I, Luke Ashby, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. Shane Blue Balls decided to investigate Master Mask and simply mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight. And it was again Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. <laughs> Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes he is Mask to Mask. <laughs> And that is why Mr. Delight saw him fit to kill Kane Bullard. Truly a tragedy. Oh, the victim, Kane Bullard, blackmailed the defendant? This is the blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment. A handwriting test confirms that Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. What? Very well, Mr. Wright. Begin your cross-examination. All right, so I know what the contradiction is, but I'm not sure if it's going to let us do it. Or I know, I know what the twist here is of this part. Uh, Luke got me in no contact with the victim whatsoever. Kane Bullard decided to investigate Mask to Mask and simply mistook who he was. Mr. Bullard wrote the letter and sent it to Ron Delight. Again, Mr. Bullard harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. And Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes he's mask to mask. There's one more. That is why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. So tr truly a trench. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my hands off the wheel, Pridge. What are we doing? Uh, is that the first statement? Oh, uh, you want us to go to the first? I look at me and no points of contact with the victim. Okay, so I'm going to guess it's the red diamond he keeps talking about on his finger. Yup! Um, and proving that Kane Bullard was actually talking about Luke. Oh, Abbey. he's Black talking about Luke. And then Luke and then Luke, Luke just gave this letter to uh yeah. Ron and was like, oh no, he was talking to him. Yeah. I, yeah. Th I think that's the the twist. That, that part with the red diamond and Luke at me bringing up that he has a red diamond ring that someone gave him mm -hmm. is very suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. And if he if was I being blackmailed, that's the motive for murder. Say so myself. So my only question is him do we I mean do we put that on the, the first he had no contact with the victim, or do we push push that towards he sent the letter to Ronda Light? I feel like it might be that. Yeah. I would go with Oh, you think? I would go with we no could, point of could, contact with the victim. You could also press them both. Yeah, I feel like pressing them first just to see. see if one of them one of them screams more than the other. Yeah. You mean this blackmail letter right here? It says bring fifty thousand dollars. 
and the handwriting is, without a doubt, the victim's? There's no mistake. I have an official report to prove it. But I don't see an addressee on this letter anywhere. An addressee? This letter was discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. Mr. Delight did show up at the designated place in time. The fact that there is no addressee is irrelevant. Okay, is this one? Yeah, I wonder. What's up, Nick? Definitely this one. I just had a thought. What if that blackmail letter wasn't meant for Mr. Yeah, okay, they're yeah. really oh, wow. getting it to us. <laughs> it's wow. really this one, ain't it? Do you have any evidence of that? I don't know, Maya. For some reason, I just can't shake this feeling. <laughs> there's something not quite right about this blackmail letter. I can't fight this feeling. Well, everyone, Deep inside are you of quite... Of me. <laughs> <laughs> are you quite satisfied? Ooga chaka. That Ooga the chaka. letter was Ooga not chaka. sent to me and was indeed sent to Ron the Light? Yo, the intro to that song goes so fucking hard. Oh, it's such a good song. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna slam this boy. Objection! <clears throat> fucking dunk on him. 